Previous genome sequencing efforts required coordinated efforts of really large teams and large facilities called genome centers with many machines working together because the individual machines just didn't have the capacity uh, to sequence all the DNA that's involved in, in an individual human's genome. They typically required 40, 50 people, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and quite a bit of equipment. What we've done here was show that you can sequence the human genome with just a single machine and one person running it in a matter of a couple of weeks. So the way we sequenced my genome was to use a machine that allowed us to follow individual molecules as they're being Xeroxed uh, by a little molecular machine called DNA polymerase. The DNA was cut into little pieces and glued onto a piece of glass, and then we followed little blips of light as the Xerox machine made the copies of the molecule. So what you'll see happening in the very near future is many, many more human genomes being done. It will become not even newsworthy very soon because there'll be so many of them. And what that great collection of data will enable is people to map more diseases to their genes of origin and allow people to develop new therapies and have better understanding of a wide variety of diseases ranging from common to rare. Personalized genomics, I think, is gonna play a central role in, in how we approach medicine in the near future. You'll be able to walk into your doctor's office, genome in hand, and before he prescribes you medicine, he'll look at your genome to see whether you'll respond to the medicine or not, whether you're likely to have side effects and so forth. And so it'll allow much better targeting of health care and uh, hopefully uh, help reduce costs in the system by only doing tests where they're either necessary or uh, more likely needed. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.